All right, we are back. Uh, power outage caused me to lose the video that I was recording. Um, and uh, so we'll start from the beginning again. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to replace the battery in my UPS. It did not switch fast enough. So the stream machine has a UPS that's pretty special. It's, it's super fast switching um, because that machine requires it. And um, the battery failed. It's probably going to be a few bucks. But it's okay. We're back. And uh, so we are using a bowhead. And we're going to head on our journey again. And um, the bowhead here is the perfect ship for transporting other ships that are fitted. And when I say fitted, I mean like, you know, here's what uh, the inventory is in here. So I've got some ships in here that are all ready to go. They're all completely fitted up and everything. And... Um, so, they, um, uh, I like using it for going on missions of certain types. Like, it is, it's a safer bet to, um, to transport a ship like this in, um, uh, because of the EHP, I got 665,000 here with this. Um, let's see here. If we simulate it, 727. And then if I overheat, well, I'll go to like 730 or something like that. It's not very much more. Oh, 752. So, um, you know, it um, is a... Uh, good ship for transporting something that's like a four billion isk uh, marauder that may only have 50,000 DHP so that um, you know if there's gate camps or whatnot in high sec which sometimes there are they see you out there flying around with that marauder um, and then they'll catch you on the other side of a gate uh, it's so much more resources and everything to, to kill you for another two billion in cost. But if your Marauder is like, uh, literally at like three or four billion, adding another two billion to it to take the EHP 10 times higher is actually quite worth it in my opinion. And you can haul some loot back and everything. So if you're going out missioning someplace, you're having to run around. This is what I've started doing. Now, I get gank attempts on me more often than, than most people because I'm streaming. If I wasn't streaming, then it'd be a bit different. But because I'm streaming, I catch a bit more aggro. Um, so maybe most people don't need that, but I think that um, for myself, I think it's a good combination. If you're a little bit more worried about it, now you wouldn't take this into low sec. You wouldn't go do some low sec mission with this. Only, only high sec stuff. This is not a ship that does well in low sec. But it's slow too. But so is a Marauder. Uh, now the other thing you can do is you can take a couple ships with you and um, you can actually fit three Marauders in one of these. Now I'm not sure I'd recommend that because then you'd be, could potentially be like 12 billion in, uh, in value in your cargo and a 2 billion-esque ship and you'd be at like 14 billion 
and that could be enough for um, gankers to amass enough resources to take you out. They'd be, it's a cost analysis. Like, how much is going to drop? How much? How many ships are they going to lose to make you drop? So if they think they can be breaking even or cash positive, they'll hit you. No doubt about it. So... Yeah. All right. So it does fly slow, though. It's it's the same speed as a freighter. So about 1.5 AU. I think I have an implant in right now that gives me just a little bit of speed boost. So. What would they bring to, to gank you? They'd bring um, like 20 Talos or um, um, they'd bring a bunch of, of uh, battle cruisers, probably. Probably. And so they'd look to spend, you know, so, so maybe they'd be spending one and a half billion hoping that um, at least one and a half billion would drop. So it's very calculated on their end. So. All right, so. Uh, we've got some giveaways today, exclamation point giveaway. The, um, drive active. we are going to hit or be very close to hitting the, um, the giveaway for 46,000 followers on Twitch right here. It's going to be a silver pack. The silver packs were 20... 25 bucks, something like that. Um, it's a version two silver pack. We don't sell those anymore. We only have version three for sale. But anyway, exclamation point giveaway and um, get in on that. Get in on all of them actually. And then whenever one of them hit, we draw. So we are 41 people away from hitting 46,000 followers. Regardless of if we uh, hit that or not today um, if we don't hit that then we are going to have the um, where'd it go oh it's up here at the very beginning the participation trophy 250,000 skill points so and if we hit a hype train then wherever we end up on the hype train is where we will be on which giveaway we do so you can get in on all of them and then one of them will be drawn today. You have a chance to win that. If you, um, but then next week, or even a couple weeks from now, you might find that you're a winner when we draw one of the uh, one of the others. Even if you're not here. So if you took the time to get in on it, you're eligible. One entry per person. There have been a few people who have tried creating multiple accounts and uh, yeah, it's not okay. We will uh, remove all of them, all of the entries. If somebody has multiple accounts, we won't just like leave just one of them. We just remove all of them. Man, mm. that power outer sucked. But I can uh, test the batteries in these, and it's probably time for me to order a few replacement batteries, which I have to do every once in a while for my UPSs. When we lived near Tampa, it was like the most lightning in the United States, where, where, where we were. And we'd have power blips all the time from lightning strikes. 
Had to have UPSs on everything. Yes, welcome to Florida. Been to Tampa once, had the best streak of your life. What, at the casino? Or underwear? <laughs> Just thinking, best streak of your life. Love drive active. So we're gonna we're gonna take these chips to Amar. Oh, food steak, not streak. Steak. Mm. Dyslexic me, red streak. <laughs> uh, steak is better than streak. Oh yeah. Um, where did you go for the best steak of your life? That sounds really interesting to me. I love a good steak. Yes. I don't get back down to Tampa very often since we moved. Actually, I've... Have I been there since we moved? Maybe I haven't. I have friends in St. Pete that I should go visit. And then we should go out and get a good steak. Yes. Unless my wife is with us. Then we have to find some place that has vegetarian as well. Good steakhouses typically do not have good vegetarian. They're like, oh, we'll give you a vegetable medley or we'll give you a salad plate. And she'd be like, that's vegetarian, but that's not what vegetarians want. Yes. Yeah. The best steak I have ever had was at Fleming's in Las Vegas. Love drive active. It was very expensive and the staff was very on it. Um, we probably spent 150 bucks a plate. Um, and um, our, uh, our waiter even asked us, my uh, friend and I were there on a business trip, asked us for business cards and then he looked up our mailing addresses off of our business cards and he wrote us hand handwritten letters thanking us for visiting and saying to ask for him next time uh next time we were there so uh i thought that was that was that's top of the line yeah what other vegetarian is there oh there's a lot so like when you go to chinese places you know, so they have tofu on the menu? It's because they can cook almost any chicken dish uh, with tofu. And so you can get General Tao's tofu and stuff. And it's not bad. Um, you know, I'm not a tofu fan. I'd rather have chicken. But um, that's a good example. Uh, and then there's a lot of... Uh, good uses for frying um, or grilling eggplant as steaks or where was it that um, that we went we went out to dinner recently oh um, the Cheesecake Factory so Cheesecake Factory they have the impossible burgers which vegetarians don't want something that tastes like meat they just don't, which in, the Impossible Burger is made to mimic meat. Um, but um, they make their own uh, made-to-order um, veggie burgers that are rice and other stuff all put together, and then they grill it up, and um, it actually tastes pretty good. I'm not vegetarian, but I, I took a taste of it. Yeah. So, yeah.
Dark, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Ah, uh, like a nice big portobello cap steak. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things. A lot of jumps. The area that I've been working, so I've been putting together um, where my recommended systems are for uh, doing mission running. And right now for, um, for hauling missions, for Emperor Family is in a append, A-P-H-E-N-D. And that's because only 5% of the missions go to low sec. And so um, you can turn them down and you typically won't be forced to run one or wait. So the, the missions come out to about 5% there which is important when you're running hauling missions um so you still search for other characters what do you mean search for other characters if you know the name you can just do it right up here in the search bar. Interesting skins for this. I only have the Rosa Dawn. Alright, it's on my other one already. Oh, you haven't played the game in like five years. You're wondering if your character is still there. Hmm. Yeah, uh, will Eve Who look it up? Or you can. I mean, your character will still be here. It will be. Now, it could have been moved to its home station, because that happened to me. I had, uh, I had some characters in wormholes, and I hadn't logged them in in a long time, and they moved them to uh, their original home stations from wormhole space. Which sucked, but they did that. Um, so... I think Sog USA 50 was his name. Yeah, there's character right there. Still there. Probably, um, when we get there, probably going to take a ship over to, um, to the grounds where I think are good for Amar missions. This guy is, he's at 9.96 on Emperor Family. And 
um, 8.0 on uh, Amar Empire. So, we'll look at running a few security missions. So, Billy, you coming back to the game? <laughs> Looks like you got a character. November 14th is the beginning of the new war. Show you all something. Look at this. Eve is picking up steam. Look at that. Every weekend we keep hitting higher numbers. We are growing again. It's great. Other drone, hello? It's much needed? Yeah, it's good. More people to shoot at. You're playing from Steam. The number is still included in there. Steam, though, won't show the same numbers because it only knows what Steam clients say are running. Another drone. Yeah, we're, uh, we're hauling some ships. This bowhead. Heading over to Amar. So, um, for the best fit for a bowhead, exclamation point fits. Look at my bowhead fit. It's the exact same one I'm using. 700,000 DHP. Bomb drive active. Makes it much harder to take out. And you use a propulsion method. You don't worry about its alignment speed. You, you know, you just do one cycle of the propulsion, and you'll be underway in ten seconds. Which you could never fit this to make it align in ten seconds anyway. So, it doesn't matter that it's brick tanked on the alignment because you're using the propulsion method to get yourself going.
fast would it be if you had a web on? Uh, maybe you could do it in eight seconds. If you were really on the ball. It's not a big enough difference, in my opinion, to, um, to think about webbing this. And, you know, webbing is complex. I mean, you're multi-boxing and, and then you have, um, if it's not a long jump, you have a cool down before you can go through the gate and stuff. Now webbing on a freighter that's all the way brick tanked, maybe. If you're carrying a really high value payload, then yeah, I don't typically tend to carry that much. I don't, uh, I don't take contracts for other people that are over a couple billion. And if I have something that's like, say, 10 billion that needs to go in a freighter or something like that, I'll pay somebody else to do it. Oh, I have insurance on it. going pretty quickly. The align on this is twenty three, twenty four seconds. So this works out fine. any of the warping sounds. Weird. Chosen Dar, how's it going, buddy? Map drive active.
But he died in the dungeon raid. Oh my. What are you doing? Don't go back there. No. 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 Cat. No. I tell him no when he comes to me. He, uh, likes to get in with the wires behind the computer. He doesn't work out too well. Mm-hmm. The wires never win. Which means I don't win. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like cats listen to humans? Well, you heard how many times I had to tell him no. When he decides that he's going to change what he's doing, then he comes over to me. He doesn't like me talking to him that way. He comes back to me for approval that he's actually not a bad cat. <laughs> yeah. He is a big cat, too. I don't know how much he weighs. It's a lot, though. All right, eight more jumps. Get up to a mar. I'm gonna grab a uh, marauder that I have there. Go a couple jumps over to another spot for doing some mission running. Can you get the pirate ships with loyalty points? Uh, I think right at the moment you can't on the new ones. So the 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 vigilant, you talk about that one from Serpentis. Um, that one, yes, you can get that for loyalty points. The brand new ships, there's some sort of combination of turning in things or whatnot to get them, and that's why they're so crazy expensive. Uh, after November 14th, I believe that you'll be able to buy them for just loyalty points. And, um, and it, um, uh, then the price will start coming way down on them. So, yeah. Right now, the, you know, the, that one destroyer is like, it's like over a billion for the whole right now. 
stuff, which is pretty crazy. I might want a cargo extender. Absolutely not. This this ship does not use cargo extenders. I mean, yes, it can use a cargo extender, but this ship is not meant for carrying cargo. This ship is meant for fitting, carrying fitted ships, and the fitted ships bay is not affected by a cargo extender. And yes, the cargo is full that I have in here. It has like 2,900 for cargo space and it's full. But I have 2 million in the fitted ship bay. So this is not like a traditional freighter. And I'd never put a cargo extender on a traditional freighter either. You can, you get a lot more space out of them, but you give up a lot of EHP, which makes you easier to kill. I would rather keep all that tank. jumps I'm carrying right now um, a couple of battleships a couple of haulers small industrials Skill points this morning. 
Don't want to forget to redeem those. And then tomorrow on the reward stuff, don't we have, uh, if you've been keeping up with it, I'll be 300 and... 25,000 skill points. Yeah, that'll be the last one that's a big deal. This guy's almost ready to start flying a paladin. Almost. Have him trained up on Golem and Paladin. A few days of mastery four on the Paladin. And then it'll take me two months to get mastery five. Gun, hello? Guess who? System away. Warp drive active. Guess who I'm doing well? How about yourself? Pretty busy system here. Wonder how many people are here. Guess we're about to find out. So, is it better to train only one race of skills or branch out to others? So. Um, what you'll find is like, let's say you're Galante and you train up 
all the skills so that you're mastery five on all the frigates. Um, you'll find that a lot of the skills that you did for that will apply to the other races. And some of them even, you know, you just uh, skill up like frigates for Amar or whatever, and then, you know, you'll have most of the stuff. They typically have different weapons, but they all have drones. Um, they all have, uh, you know, need for shields and armor and everything. Um, it is better to stay a little bit more specific so that you can take advantage of previous training you've done because if you are flying say Galante and you're using guns and then you want to fly a Mar you have to train lasers and um, that's not 100% there are some of them that use missiles and stuff but um, primarily you're, tra you're training lasers which you know, you don't have any training into that. But if you were to move from frigates to destroyers in Galante, then the guns you have trained will be used on most of those destroyers. Um, it's a matter of personal preference. You can do anything you want. Um, but the more specific you can stay, the better that accepted. character will do with that job. and the the lower amount of time it'll take to train everything all right so there is a bunch of loot here and let's see here if those are going for, for anything all right so these have to go into one of my ships here let's see uh, if these are selling in contracts still 12 keys 10 keys for a hundred million ones are 55 for 10 what maybe I put it up for 9 million for two of them this but I don't think that there's very much going on with these yeah no buyers of them bunch of people trying to sell them you can move to a totally different race Jack cat you can do that it just takes it a little bit longer to skill up to the same level you know you can do that I was whenever I started my first character I was so all over the place for the first couple of months trying to do everything and that's when I decided that I was gonna create a couple more accounts and then be focused on a few of them and like this guy this guy's a trader and hauler primarily industrialist oh yeah so another dragon boarding HFA blonde 42 aboard. months as a sub choo -choo. all right how about 1,260 gold to everybody here in your honor? Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Eve, Matt Kramer, and Rokororo Caro. <laughs> thank you for the follow as well.
They auto add it to your character. You need to do something on Twitch. Oh, for the what for the um, the drops. Once you've there'll be a claim button on here once you've got them and then you hit that and then give it a minute and they'll show up in here and you're in redeemed item queue for the character you selected if you're not on that character it won't show up there's not even anybody buying these yeah Get these ships out of here. Mission sort sort to Jita. I have an ammo crate here. Sure, I did. Where have I been putting all of it? I've been putting it into the sort boxes. Mm. Yes, well, okay. Maybe I've been putting it in the mission box. Yes, I've been putting them in the mission box. Because that's all I use ammo down here for is missions. Got it. Well, I can't look up ammo by the word ammo. Nice. All right. Only worried about large ammo in there. All right, so that's full. Oh, I got it. I know what the deal is now. sort take this stuff out of here now then I'll be finding it later I'll be like oh I remember that stuff mm-hmm yeah trying to avoid that safer don't worry about it buddy Ah, so you guys got a response. Well, good. Good. Your perseverance paid off a bit. 
All right. <clears throat> Very good. Glad you got, glad you're getting it sorted. Okay, so I have multiple bowheads here, and so now I have these ships here, and this is probably going to be the one that I'm going to use a bit in here. Oh, and I have my new golem skin. Yes. So, the one I got from a drop. Voila. There we go. Excellent. You also notice that I bought some of them. So, I have some uh some of these skins here and uh I'll hold on to them for a while and then and then sell them. So, Precious, yes. Uh, I need to put these into this other ship here so that they're not forgotten. All right, so now this, does this have, I forget if this has bonuses to, no, it's just cruise missile and torpedo are the bonuses. It's not a particular damage type what am i missing on this for mastery five 46 days long distance jamming and frequency modulation target painting and signature focus well the blue on those indicate that it's all in my queue so enough for me Is there enough ammo um, probably for the moment it is like I don't know though Here. Mission. I don't know if I've got this stuff. Find in personal assets. I don't have any at this other station. Five thousand of that. Five thousand of that. Oh wait, what did I take of this? Oh, that's heavy. No, we're not using heavy. We're using cruise. Have any? So this is this is heavy as well. I want cruise. These are not in order. Torpedoes, torpedo. Well, it looks like I don't have uh, extras of these. Okay, so let's um, look on the market here. Oh, really expensive, but okay. All 
Alrighty. Got some extra. Now. Hop into this ship here. That in there. Put this ammo in here. You rock and roll. Why did I only get 3200 of Nova? See like 40 billion. Oh, yeah. I have a little bit. Earl Grimm and Uplink Down. Thank you for the follows. Welcome. Yeah, I'm space rich. If I could just be this rich in real life, things would be dandy. Mm-hmm. We could even drop a few zeros. And I'd be like, okay, that's good. I'm gonna take off here in just a minute. I'm gonna step away for just a moment. I'm gonna grab another drink. I'll be right back.
can roll. There's another bowhead I have. I've got for each of my characters that do any sort of mission running, they've all got their own bowhead. How did that fit out of that little hole there? Hmm. That's pretty amazing. Think about what the CCP Black Friday promo might be. Well, so the answer is it's too, too, too early to tell. But also, even if okay. I did know, I couldn't tell you until it was live. Um, but a lot of times, Black Friday stuff will be like Plex or Omega Time, and um, and then um, Cyber Monday will be the other. So. past Black Friday's been worth buying so typically the Black Friday stuff from CCP is the deepest discount of the year you might see other things happen throughout the year that might be the same level of discount but Black Friday tends to be the deepest discount but um, you know, we just have to see um, there's been a lot of changes on how the promotions work with CCP and um so yeah steak might be the wing house barn grill tampa stadium yeah revolver i haven't been to that one that one tends to be uh pretty pretty um pretty busy especially on a event night it's crazy i've been down next to the stadium when there's events happening I've never actually been to a game down there, but I didn't realize seven jumps away. Anyway, I got seven jumps to do.
drive active. Mm. My security camera here. Oh, there it is. All right. Said someone was in my backyard, and in fact, there was. I took a shortcut across the backyard. tank. Uh, neck is doing okay. So my neck is not fixed. It's ex actually exactly the same as it was. I had a procedure done to stop the pain. And so um, so that's helped but eventually I'm going to have to have surgery looks like. So, so I'm very functional at the moment. But not much has been fixed. Yeah, at least I don't have that pain. The pain is very debilitating. It, uh, it zaps your energy. So like, if I'm able to sit here and do an eight hour show, if I was in pain, I'd only be able to do about four hours because it just wears you out. It's horrible. So lucky this procedure worked for me because it doesn't work for everybody. And uh, so I'm okay at the moment. So while we're flying this guy, my other guy here, he's uh, he's in the Phenoctus here, and he's got uh, 5.02 Emperor family. So he's. Uh, He's doing pretty good on that. Um, this is my Galante and Minmatar guy. And uh, so he will be doing like epic arcs and stuff for um, Galante and Minmatar and probably for Sisters of Eve and then sharing it back with this guy to raise his standings. And this guy can share his stuff back. I mean, yeah, I mean, he could start sharing right now. I'm at uh, 9.96. It's going to take a while to hit a 10.0. I have another character that can do Amar and Kaldari as well. And uh, that will share back with him to get this up. But then the next hardest thing to get to get up is the Amari Empire. And so I can get that up by doing Sisters of Eve. Because then I can choose Amar. Or I can do the Amar Epic Arc. Um, and then my other character that has uh, Amar and Kaldari can do the Epic Arcs and share with this guy. Um... And uh, the Epic Arcs will actually share that standing, whereas Special Missions won't. So, anyway, I'm working on getting a 10-10 in both uh, Amar and Kadari. And it's because I'm doing so much commerce. Like, look, at um, overview here, so this is a lot lower than last month, but I've sold 56 billion and I've bought 32 billion. Um, 
Last month, I it equaled almost 200 billion between the to two of them, and so um, every little bit of tax reduction makes a big deal, a really big deal. So that is uh, that is what I'm working on. You know, how do the rich get richer? They save money on every transaction, right? Something like that. One of the things. So I'm working on this character being a trillionaire. It's not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. He's at 700 billion right now. I've got um, I've got all of this um, Plex, 208 billion worth. Um, I am saving it for a very certain thing to happen in NES, and then I'm going to spend all of it. And then I'm going to make more money. I got more alerts going off of somebody in my backyard. Why do people think it's okay to walk through my backyard? work on the yard back there that's a shot of it live and we're gonna plant um, what we call fence bamboo around the edges back there block it all off stuff it'll be uh, pretty good we're doing that in January Set up a loudspeaker with uh, angry dog barking. Yeah, either that or a sprinkler system that turns on, right? But wait until they're in the middle of the yard. <laughs> that'd be that'd be that'd make some good camera action, wouldn't it? That might make a good video. People getting all pissed off because they get all wet because the sprinkler system turns on and the, when they're in the middle of the backyard. Oh man, that'd be funny. High velocity sprinklers. Yeah, one of those big farm ones. <laughs> they have all the sprinklers turned on so they're trapped. Another reason to watch the stream, yeah. All right, we are in system. Drive active. Ben Wrinkle, your highest ranking is 144 billion. Yeah. If I put all of my guys together, I'd be around 900 billion. Um, so. So if you hit 1 trillion, according to CCP, you are in the top half a percent of EVE players. I'm in the Don't top 1% right now, I believe. Request accepted. 
But to get to the top one tenth of one percent, you need 1.9 trillion. Does that include assets? Yes, it includes assets. When you uh, click on your character here, then your total net worth right here, like he's 703 billion. But see, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be buying a Titan, and it's not for this character, and so. The character that has it is going to be worth 200 billion more. And this guy here, he'll be, you know, um, he'll go down by 200 billion. So that Plex right there, I have 208 billion worth of Plex. And I hope to double that in a scheme that I've got. Um, but I'm waiting for certain conditions to happen. They will happen sometime within the next six months. So I'm holding on to it. Uh, I might buy a little bit more Plex, you know, um, before that happens because Plex price will go up whenever this happens. And, um, you know, I want to, it actually a good time to buy is when there's a Plex sale for real world cash. So, which Titan do I want to buy? Nerebus. So, I plan to uh, buy an Erebus here. This right here. And, uh, I can't afford it. I'd love to have a Vindicator, which is very similar. Um, let's see here. Or Vanquisher, I mean. Uh, I'd love to have this one. But um, I think that that would take the cost from about 200 billion to around 900 billion so yeah anyway uh, that's what I plan to do I will use the Titan on the show I guarantee it I guarantee it So, anyway, I won't be buying the Titan until after I make this play with all the Plex because I got to use a lot of my net worth to do that. And the more Plex that I have whenever I make this play with Plex, the more money I'll make. So, um, so I'm, I'm in a hoarding mode, if that makes sense. All right, so I am at my mission station and I have all the stuff here to do all the burners. Um, I have uh, I have some stuff here for doing epic arcs. And then I'm almost ready on this one. Let's uh, take this thing out of here. I'm almost ready to start using this one. Oh, look at all that extra ammo that's in there. Hmm. Oh. So, I'm almost ready to start using this. See what I was talking about when I emptied the ammo out earlier of that other one? Yeah. So, do I have any items here? No, I pulled all of them out. Pulled all the items out. Um... I'm just about ready on on this one to uh, do it. So 2,393 DPS. I got four more days and then I'll be uh, level four on these. And uh, then that's when I'll start using it. So... What I haven't decided is, is whether or not I'm going to keep my station here that I'm doing uh, missions out of, or I want to move it to someplace else. 
So one thing that you guys may or may not know is that the security of the system, which this is 0 0.6, the security directly equals how much your payments are, how much your standings are, how much your LP is for each mission. And so the lower you go, the higher the pay. And so I don't know if there are le level four mission givers for, for this. In fact, let's look. Um, Let's see, agents and missions, and then uh, mission agents, security, level four, any distance, high sec, Amar Empire, Emperor family. Um, all right, so there's only, uh, there's only three of them, and they're all in point six. So, you know, this might be the best one. Uh, there's not uh, there's not any any place else so um, there we have it the only other thing is is where are the special mission agents at and so here no special mission agent and if you are trying to boost say Emperor family then I would look at each one of these stations to see whether or not the special mission agent is at them. And then in barring other, other stuff, like this one I think is only three jumps from Amar, might be too close. But barring other stuff, you may want, um, you may want the, the, to do them out of there because uh, if your special mission agent is also Emperor family, then you're gonna have a big spike whenever you do a special. See here, Emperor family? So I have it dialed in on the mission agent for, um, for hauling. And so the mission agent I've chosen has a couple of benefits and it's in a pinned. A couple of benefits. One is it only has about a 5% chance of getting you a low sec mission. And then the second is is that the same station has the special mission agent, which means that you get this giant bump every time you do a special mission. Here, I don't know where the special mission agent is. We'll have to find out. And I don't think that the closest one is Emperor Family. I think it's something else. And so, um, you have to let one special mission sit at a special mission agent for it to go to the next one. And so the next one over might be Emperor Family. I do know that if I were to do it out here, which I think this one is right next, this system next door to um, the mission agent for hauling, that um, this is the closest, that's where the closest special mission agent is. And so you would get Emperor Family. Um, I don't know about this other one. And, and that really makes a difference when you are working on your standings. Like here, 9.96, you want that big bump. So, yeah. All right. Hangers, I'm gonna put myself in this ship right here. Now, if I have to go to another system, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put it in this ship right here, and I'm going to take it to that system. That way, going gate to gate to gate, instead of, uh, so if I run into a gate camp, instead of having um, 98,000 DHP, I'll have 750,000 DHP. It's a big difference. And this is worth 3.5 billion. So it is a target that conceivably gankers would want to take out if they saw it. All right, let's, let's pull a mission here. West mission. What do we got? Damsel in distress. 
It's in the same system, right? I'm going to look on my schedule here. I have the level four mission tab. I probably have damsel in distress in here. No, I don't. Right. Well, I got to get started on putting that in. Oh, it's the damsel in distress. Here it is. It's mercenaries. Use thermal and kinetic. Best blitz time. Two minutes, 17 seconds. Warp in at 100k. Spike ammo on the Kronos Ripper. Shoot the Pleasure Garden. Damsel appears in your cargo. Warp away. There's two Pleasure Gardens. I think you shoot the further one. All right. So warp in at 100. And thermal. I can load thermal. I'm going to have to form a fleet in order to do the warp. And you can't warp in at 100 to a mission all on your own. It's got thermal in it already. Okay. We're going to try and blitz it. And don't think that I have better ship for it. So, all right, we're going to form a fleet. With myself, me, myself, and I. Okay, I got a fleet. Dock. Can I share that sheet? Yes. Exclamation point schedule. That'll give you a link to it. Oh, wait. You need to travel to another system? Wait, what? I thought it was in the same system. Read details. Oh, that's a drop off location. Okay, so I do need to go to a different system. All right. We're going to put him in, in the other ship here. Accepted. Hopping in there. Yeah, I'm no longer just going through the gates with the the ships. Should be clear of it now. Yeah, there's a tab there that says level four missions on the uh, schedule. So that's just my personal sheet, my personal notes, and everything, so.
It takes a little bit longer to take this ship, and then I gotta dock it and pull the other ship out. Um, but it can save me a lot of hassle from uh, getting gate camped. Rain Prime, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Docking permission requested. What I need to do for that sheet is uh, get Docking request accepted. a timer up on the show again and start timing some other stuff, some other fits. distance, read details, and then warp fleet, 100. Warp drive active. Oh yeah, another dragon boarding the train. All aboard, choo-choo. Hope you can. Four months. Thousand three hundred and twenty gold. That's a lot. Thank you, buddy. She did not appear in my inventory.
There's no one. Mm-hmm. So I thought. has run out of charges. Used to be in the rack, now appears in, uh, in your inventory. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. That's a blitz. profitable to blitz them so it depends i mean there is uh loot and salvage there that i obviously left behind um and so more profitable it's more profitable to shoot everything and pick it all up but time wise when you're going for standings um when you're going for standings you just want to get it done as quickly as possible
So if I had shot the right one, then uh, it would have been over sooner. It took me twice as long. But I have in there with the Chronos that uh, I can get through it in uh, less than two and a half minutes. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, now we'll just turn it in, see what we got next. See what that did for us. It's still 9.96. It's going to be really hard to to get these last um, so Economic. All right. Destroy the hawk. So here's my hawk ship. Look at what my notes are on this. I have anomics at the bottom here. Hawk. Approach bantams. Kill with baryon. Approach hawk. Kill with the cult. So, approach phantoms, kill with baryon, approach hot, kill with cult. All right. We're gonna do it. Now this one pays almost 12,000 loyalty points. That's a big jump for such a little thing here, except, um, you know, it's difficult to, to, um, it's difficult to do these. This is also, um, this is one of the ships from Hateless. This was was one of his ships. So he gave me his fleet of Nurgles before he died. I'd hate to lose one.
fall orbit needs to come down. Yes, Hateless died in a motorcycle accident a few months ago. for metagame in chat. Do exclamation point dancers in chat. That'll use some of your gold. Alright, here we go. Warp drive active. Ready? 
straight at him. Come on. God damn it. I need to get closer. Overheat like that again. Killed all my drones. These are, these are difficult. Say the least. You go. Two million worth of stuff. I'll take it. Drive Head back. Active. All right, so got that one done. It's almost 12,000 LP, which would be a nice bump in standings as well. I'm always nervous about doing those. Then I'm gonna lose a ship. The ship's a billion for this little frigate to be able to do this. Bump drive active. Gonna need some repairs. And uh, I had to make a note on my sheet there about replacing the Hornet 2s because the Hornets are missing now. All three of them got killed. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Actually, there were five before, so I didn't refill them from the last time. All right, and I don't think I have any here. 
I don't. So, all right, take this stuff out of there. Get some repair on here. And then start conversation. Complete the mission. See, it's 11,936 loyalty points on this one. That's a really good, good amount. Still 9.96, went up 0.478, which is a pretty good jump. But um, getting these last, you know, 0 0.04, it may literally take me a hundred missions to do it. You've been skipping them every time because you're scary pants? Yes. Well, no, I, uh, it, you know, I don't always do them because I don't always feel up to it. They're stressful, man. You know, it's just like you just barely get it. Like that second Bantam, I had to overheat there in order to, to get him. And, um... That was, that was a little difficult. So, you know, if I burnt something out there, then I'd just be dead. I'd just be, you know. It'll take at least 100 after 9.9. .9. Yeah, it's, it's an enormous amount that it takes to get a 10.0. So, yep. All right, request mission. The Sanchez Spies. This one should be pretty easy. Let's see what, if I have this one even on my list here. I don't, I don't. So, but for Sancha, let's see here. Um, for Sancha, EM and Thermal, okay. So I don't know if there's a blitz on this one or not. But we can accept this. Next door. So EM and thermal. I mean, I could use EM Blitzer too. <sighs> All right. For those of you watching on YouTube, let's wait for the next episode.